All right, all right, all right. Welcome to my first screencast. Um, I'm gonna try not to go over. I actually have it set for five minutes, so if you guys can lend me five minutes of your time, I just wanna go over some of the footage that I took last night of our moon. Um, I actually got really good footage of the moon. Um, I used a, a kind of a new process. I uh, attached an iPhone to binoculars, you know, um, 15 magnification binoculars, and was able to look at the moon and get uh, this image right here. So without further ado, I want to first, I want to bring up the contrast a little bit, lower the gamma so you can see the better moon. And then what I would like to do is let you see first what it looks like just as it moves. I'm doing a, you know, it's, it's a frame by frame scroll, but I'm going pretty fast. I'm going about like 15 frames a second here. Um, but you can see right here, around the border of the moon, what is this? Why is it red right here? I have so much footage of uh, mysterious colors around the moon's edge. It, the moon is the most bizarre thing in the sky. Um, it's, it's not a sphere. Um, I think people have proven that. It gives its own light. I have um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of photos and stuff that I encourage you to check out about the moon. I have some really wild ones. It almost looks like it's separating from itself an inner disk and an outer disk, but that's for another time. So, um, right now I want to, yeah, let me uh, blow this moon up a little bit so I can show you guys something really interesting. Um, you see this right here? And this right here? It almost looks like you have a demon face right here. But these two things are giving off light. And let me show you. I want you to first keep an eye on there. And then an eye on there. Look at how... You see that? This one's especially right here. Look how it changes. It morphs. And it, this is not the same property right here. Um, that's the causing this morphine that's causing around the edge. I mean, I guess we have to attribute this. You can see that right there. We have to attribute that kind of morphine right here around the edge to um, atmospheric conditions and the light shining through all the haze that's up in the sky from those chem planes. Um, but right here, it's doing its own thing. Nowhere else do you see it doing this thing. Things are moving. I just noticed this object right there moved. Back here. So let's keep on to some more. This is where I've noticed the most anomalous action. Like you can see I'm going frame by frame now. Wow. It is changing. Look at the, wow. It, all, it really does actually like look a lot like some of these things I've seen in the sky. That I'm, I'm calling them a demon... Uh, interdimensional beings because they definitely have a consciousness to them and they aren't nice and they're just kind of annoying me and they make these nasty little faces too so look at these things it's so interesting first of all all the topography of the moon changes dramatically it's not supposed to be making these dramatic changes it's almost looking like it's breathing if you want to you know attribute that to atmospheric you know, um, reasoning, just by all means, you know, I'm not even going to argue that point. I'm just saying, what is this here on the moon? Let's see if we can get a little closer. Bring that down. There we go. Wow. We're talking about something that's folding inside of itself. Almost like it like here. What what what? It's like I'm an old DJ on the turntables. What 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 what? Yeah, it totally looks like one of those demon things. You can even make out two eyes right here. Let's see if I can bring it show you guys. Um I don't know, hopefully it comes through, but there looks like there's two eyes right there, and there's definitely two eyes in the demon thing that I have a, a ton of footage on my uh, channel. So here. Look at this thing. What would this what would be the purpose for something like this?
Yeah, sorry. So I want to, um, I'm gonna go pretty fast right now. Well, I got cut off like I knew I would, but um, I just wanna kind of follow up and just finish off this video real quick. Um, we'll do some more, like you see my eyes coming up there um, that I just drew in there, but I'm just gonna keep on this scrolling right here. You can see, look at this, look at that. Wow, look at that dramatic difference in the frame. Anyway, um, I just want to say thank you so much for um, taking the time to see my video. I really encourage you to check out some of the videos I have already posted. I have a lot more to post um, to just show some really wild, strange stuff out there. And um, a lot of stuff I have I've never seen on the internet and I've scoured. So if you can bear with me, whoa, look at that. It even comes red. Um, if you can bear with me as I um, you know, go through the uploading process and try to make the videos as, as you know, I don't know, is that the best they can look. Um, they will be up there, and I encourage everyone to comment. I really want to talk with you guys. I really want to, you know, solve these um, mysteries and figure out what's going on here, you know. Um, there's, you know, there's bad knowledge, and then there's good knowledge. And if this knowledge doesn't hurt anybody, and it's for our benefit of mankind, and it's done from a place of love and, um, you know, a place of honor for the subject matter, it's, that's all good knowledge, and I'm not trying to hear, trying to argue or debate or, you know, prove anything. I I have nothing left to prove. I want to, I want to discover. I want to research. I want to leave this world a better place than it was, you know, with me in it. So. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was long. Ooh, look at these. Look at these great images. This is just fantastic. Um, I think it's going. All right, 30 more seconds of your time. <laughs> I got it cut off again, but I'm going uh, to just wrap it up real quick. Uh, please check out um, my YouTube channel, my Facebook. I have a Tumblr. It's, it's all the Strange Sky Project. Um, I have the Strange Sky Project. Um, I have open eyes. To Sky with the number two in there. Um, you should be able to find it everywhere. Uh, I just want to say God bless, much love um, for all the other researchers out there. You know, I really respect y'all, and I, uh, you know, look forward to adding my two cents and uh, let's let's solve some of these things. You know, let's make a dent. All right, take care. Type of 30 minutes instead of 30 seconds. Gosh darn it. Let's see.